Hey guys, I am gonna attempt to turn these braids into a braid out. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't record the initial process of putting them in because they looked really good. I'll throw some pictures in here of all the different styles I've been doing. but I just, I didn't have the energy that day for an entire head of mini twists. So I just separated out my bangs and just did three rows of mini twists. And I uh, really love how this came out. As you can see, it's a little scraggly. I am gonna spray it with some water here and get that all taken care of. And that is going to just help revitalize these guys, especially at the ends where the ends are starting to get a little bit scraggly, so it'll help them curl back up again. Okay, so I'm just gonna squeeze that in. And then let me just take this and kind of dab off my face here. I went ahead and used this pore purifying facial serum from Beyond Belief. It's that and Noxzema are literally the only things I can use on my skin because my skin is so hypersensitive to oils. Actually, I put a little bit of a Bath & Body Works Shea Butter Cream on the other day and I had a bad reaction to it. So I've just gotta be really careful about what I put on my skin and this seems to work pretty well. Now, I'm not gonna put any oil on my hands or anything like that because I just, I don't want extra oil or serum, I should say, because that's what I use instead of oil on my hair. And um, this one doesn't wanna release so sometimes what I have to do is kind of pull it out and then pull the strands apart or else when you try to pull them apart it creates knots with the shed hair and things like that also it's extremely humid today and even though my hair feels kind of dry I know that with the humidity it's just going to help rehydrate it really well so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, there's one side. I'm not gonna undo the twists though, these are staying. this but let me see what it looks like at the back yeah honestly this is kind of a really cute look and I like how it's looking so you know you can pull it forward kind of have that 90s look or you can pull it to the back and it falls down like that and it's kind of giving this almost half up half down and you know what I think I want to fake it being half up half down so this is what I'm gonna do I have butterfly butterfly clips I'm just gonna put one here the other one here that looks really cute I think just half up half down style and we're gonna see what happens with the humidity my hair is not 100% even because I did go ahead and do a little snippy snip the other day just some a little trim now I'm trying to decide do I want to have my hair just kind of like this or pull it back a little bit more because of the way I styled it. It's kind of hard to make it go over to this side. Nah, I think I'll just stick with this side. Okay, because that's how I initially had them drying in the twists. So what I have to do, it all through bobby pins. I don't like it when my twists fall in my face. So I just kind of pin them in place, if that makes sense. So I kind of come 
from underneath and I grab it and I pin it in place. And the idea behind doing that is then you don't see the pin. And it just looks like your hair is just naturally staying in place when of course that it couldn't be further from the truth. about adding hair jewelry but honestly I think this looks fine with the flowers adding extra accessories I think would be a bit much so I think this is fine as it is and the last thing is just to put some earrings on okay I think that's pretty good my ends were a little dry so definition back here is sort of lacking but uh I don't think it needs to be perfect all the time it's just kind of that messy look and it's really, really, really cute. But yeah, this, this front piece is doing all the work right now, all the work. And I'm really happy that I decided to just put the mini twists in here. Cause like I said, the day that I put them in, I was feeling very, very low on energy and I wanted to look cute with minimal effort. So I just thought, you know what? <laughs> Let me just put some twists in the front. And then when I'm done with this today, I all I have to do is put it in a bun and I can wear it in a cute bun style as well. So I'm hoping to get a couple more days out of this before I have to reset. And like I said, the humidity should rehydrate my hair a little bit. So I'm not gonna spray any water on it. I'm just gonna kind of let the elements do their thing and we'll go from there. But yep, that's, that's my look for today. Turning this braid out into a cute, Big half up, half down style. So as you can see, this is how it looks now after being out and about in the humidity. We had a ton of thunderstorms, very, very severe weather, tornado watch, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, cool thing is, like I said, I didn't spray my hair. I just let the humidity get into it and it actually brought me back some definition because it just started to naturally coil up, how you can see from the back. It's so cute, and the bobby pins just stayed in place so well, and the twists got juicier again because I sprayed them and probably because of the humidity too. And yeah, this look just evolved throughout the day to get better and better and better so i may wear it like this again tomorrow i may put it in a bun we'll see it's the next day and i decided that yes i do want to do a bun i could have left it down but i was really feeling that classy updo style for today i've gone ahead and taken out the twists from where i had them pinned up and then i'm just re-wetting them so that again they curl up because they did stretch out a little and then I go ahead and make my bun pretty simple i do like to do buns on stretch hair sometimes because it makes them nice and thick i could have done it another way kind of like i did uh, my space buns the other day and made it even poofier but this way is more secure especially for the style that i was going to do with the added accessories please enjoy as i go through this style here <laughs> 